Okay, this is day 21. I'm trying to get the 2000 ELO on chess.com. I'm playing with the black pieces. My current rating is 1688. I've reached a high of 1882. And I only, I usually only play uh, rapid games. So this is the Alakine's defense. Um, apparently pushing this pawn is a mistake, but it transposes into the into the standard way of playing. And so I usually just um, put my bishop here and then castle at kingside. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take this now. Or sorry, castle and then take it. Uh, if, if bishop takes... Okay, it doesn't. And then I'll push this pawn because this knight's really annoying if the tri if the queens get traded. Um, a good move for him would probably be to move his queen out of the way to try and get his rook, but he decides to take. So I'll just take back. And then I will develop my bishop to this square, allowing the rooks to see each other. He decides to take, I'll take back. I could try and take his knight, um, because his bishop takes, and then I can take this pawn, and then he can take this pawn. Um, I think I'm just going to take this rook, and then um, take this knight, and then take this pawn with my knight. Because his knight was defending, but now it's not, so I just win that pawn. Now I'm attacking this pawn. Um, and now I'm just up a pawn, so I think I'm going to move my king. That looks like a good move. And then I need to be careful not to let his knight in. Um, maybe I'll push this pawn to stop him from going here. Right now my knight does, but eventually he'll just kick my knight out, so if he were to kick my knight out... Then I'll just move my knight here. Um, now he's attacking my bishop. I don't care if he trades off his knight for my bishop. I'll still win the game. The knights... For some reason, I think the knights are better than the, the bishops. Um, that's just my opinion. Even in an end game, um, the knights are just more complex. I'll reroute my knight to go here to attack his bishop. Okay, he decides to attack this pawn, but going here defends that pawn and attacks his bishop. So maybe, uh, maybe bishop. Okay, he decides. Yeah, I'll still take. It's just hard to win these types of end games. I'll take and push this pawn. And then I'll try and uh, push this pawn, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'll attack his... I could attack his knight or attack this pawn. I'll attack this pawn first. Um, he'll push this. Okay, that's, that's a bad move. That's a bad move. It's a bad move because all I have to do to defend my weak pawns is to make sure my bishop's guarding this pawn and my king is guarding this pawn and he, he won't be able to win any of them. I'll go here, threatening to take his knight. And then I'll go here, defending this weak pawn. And then now I just have to uh, keep my king with these pawns and uh, just move them up the board and move my king up the board. And yeah, my bishop does a good job of cutting off, um, stopping this pawn push here if this king were to go here. Yeah, I'll just basically push all these pawns. I could take this with my king, but I think having your king behind your pawns and then just moving them forward is probably the best way. Um, I could push this pawn because... He can't really push because I can just take. Yeah, I think probably attacking both of these pawns. I think that's the best move. And then I'll take with this pawn because it's farther away from his knight. And then take with this pawn. 
And my bishop, if his king were to ever go here, I can just pin his knight. Or even here, I can just pin his knight. And the game's over. So he can only go to this square to retreat back. So that's not very good. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just start moving my king up. I'll check him because my this defends that square, my bishop. So my bishop defends the pawn. And then I will I'll go and I'll leave this pawn and I'll go over here because I know the, the amount of moves it's going to take for his knight to get over here and then take and then it, it's going to it's going to take so much time that I my king will have taken all these pawns. So And he, his king, like he's he's coming down here. His king can't even come this way because I just I just push, so he has to move his knight. So he checks me. I'll go here. He he can go here. It doesn't it doesn't matter at all. Like the, I'm just gonna take, <clears throat> and then my king will be here, and I'll have two pass pawns. I also could push this pawn if for some reason his knight is just doing a good job of defending everything. Yeah, so now knight attacks this. I guess he could try taking, I take, and then pushing this pawn. But then I can just take, and then if he pushes, I just, my king gets back in time. Yeah, so it looks like knight takes. I take back, he pushes, I have to take this pawn. If you were if you were if you were to go knight takes I take pushes this pawn and then I take, then he would win the game, because I wouldn't be able to stop the pawn push. I'll go here to threaten taking this pawn, and this person's rated seventeen sixty. That is insane. I'll take his knight, take this pawn, take this other pawn. Move my king. Move my king up again. And then um, I'll just let him take this pawn because I know how to checkmate with just one queen. It's actually very easy. I would recommend for beginners to not actually um, try and promote to another queen. Like just learn how to checkmate with just, uh, just one queen. Because there's more stalemates if you... You yeah, have just like a bunch of pieces on the board. So I usually just cut off. I just make a square. And I'm always just a knight distance from the king. Like if you were to go there, then I just keep making the square. That's the move that most beginners probably miss is that you're kind of moving backwards a little bit. But you're just imagining that it's just a square that you're making. Or sorry, a rectangle. <clears throat> so if he were to go here, I go here. If he were to go here, I would go here. And then now I can literally just, if I wanted to, I can just pre-move. I think I can go... Yeah, there we go. And then make sure you don't stalemate. And then that's checkmate. So that is day 21 of trying to get to 2000 ELO. Um, I'm rated 16.98 now. I played with an 81.9% accuracy and my opponent played with a 73.2% accuracy.